We all have those games that we remember playing and hold dear to our hearts in some way or another. Even games you might remember but don't have an opinion on just because you remember little about them. Like Inkball. Windows Vista, an operating system that wasn't good, it had problems, it didn't do so good. But regardless, this is what we're going to be talking about today. That's right, we're going back to the far past of 2007 on original hardware. And I do mean original. Um, is this supposed to be a YouTube reference? Because if so, it's not area appropriate, as this style of video became popular in 2009, so your fashion is incorrect. You know, it's kinda cool having a PC this old, there's just something neat about it. Like, remember when computers used to make noise? Well, they still do, but, you know, this one is actually supposed to make noise. It's like it's thinking. Fun fact, this computer was never connected to the internet, which means this computer is an actual time capsule, forever stuck in 2007. Opening up the games folder, we find, wow, 11 full games. And remember, no internet, so there's no way of getting more games, which means, all right, that's enough introduction. Let's get to some of these games. Let's start with an absolute classic, Purple Place. Play, play. I have been playing this game for two days in a row now. This shit is harder than Dark Souls. Don't believe me? Let's start from the beginning. Those who grew up with Vista, or Windows 7 in most cases, will remember these games as nothing more than just card games and board games. But Purple Place is where the good shit was. Why you ask? Well, it's got three solid games, but everyone seems to remember this one in particular, and for good reason. The games on Windows all require some level of intelligence. Chess? Forget about it, if you put a kid in front of the game, they'll lose in a matter of five minutes. Minesweeper? That requires you to understand probability and numbers. Solitaire? The only card game I knew was poker for Mario 64 DS. Come on, you lanky ass motherfucker. Give me some good cards. That's a good one. That's a good one right there. Fuck. Inkball was pretty cool though. It would, you could draw lines and balls go in holes. I thought that was really cool. Okay, I might be getting a bit ahead of myself, so let's start at the beginning with the rules. The rules are simple, really. There's a cake recipe, and you have to follow it by picking the right shape, flavor, frosting, and topping. Intermediate difficulty is where we're introduced to four new elements. Multiple cakes, one new cake layer, the conveyor belt now moves automatically, and now we have this filling that goes in between the first and second layer of the cake that we have to apply in all recipes. A bit complicated, but with some practice it becomes easier to do every time. But once we get to the advanced difficulty, that's when this game becomes stress inducing. We now have one more cake layer, and the option to caramelize the frosting, and apply powdered sugar. These three elements are what make some recipes damn near impossible. Now, I know it's a matter of muscle memory and basic multitasking. Call it skill issue, that's fine, I'm fine with that. But there's one more element that makes this as difficult as it is. The computer itself. Remember, this thing was made in 2007 and was probably the cheapest option too since it was 2007 and that really wasn't the best time to be buying anything. 
unlike the PCs of today where we have 16 gigabytes or more of RAM and processors capable of handling multiple programs at once without any issue, this hunk of fossils has less than 2 gigabytes and is very easy to just completely freeze. You can see here that I'm struggling multiple times just to finish this, but eventually I do find a solution. Some cake recipes don't have frosting, and because they don't have frosting, they don't need to be flamed or powdered. Is it an easy out? Totally, but at this point it's been two days of trying this, so I think it's justified. But even then, even then, skill issue, I have poor multitasking skills. Look at this, I get that easiest combination of shit and co- and I still fuck it up. But even then, I refuse to give up. And through sheer determination, I finally did it. The one thing that my five-year-old self can never do, and I did it. Wonderful. <sighs> you know, we still have a good half minute, even if this game took over most of the video, we can at least see what's inside the disk drive, which I used to use as a DVD player to watch movies. I wonder if there's anything left in here after so many years. Huh. <laughs>